Goats and underdogs. I'm a goat. Well, Damn I was right just about are. to ask you that Damn one. Damn right you are. I'm a goat. One of the greatest of all time. One of my favorite producers I've of all time. I've never said that, Damn by right. the way. First time. It felt good, too. Mm-hmm. Say that shit one more time. I am one of the greatest <laughs> of all time. Amen. Let's I'm, go. I, I guess Can I get everybody to run the same man? Hold on, we're going to do this right. Say it again. I am one of the greatest of all time. Can I get everybody to say amen? Amen. 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 My career is not an accident. Better than us, depending on where you're from and what you've been through. You're watching The God Show, hosted by Ray Daniels. I'm a facilitator of dreams. I am not here to take you to your dreams. Too much money in a record deal can really enslave you. King Damon, formerly of the underdogs, there's only two of those. This is Wendy Day from Rap Coalition. 106 and Park was created by me. I created the show for Bow Wow. We the guys that cut the checks and made checks for people. You watching me right here on The God Show. On The God Show tonight. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> And what's up, everybody? This is Ray Daniels, aka the Culture Referee. And this is the God Show. Boop, boop, boop. Y'all can make noise. Y'all can make noise. And, <laughs> and, 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 and we have my bro, one of my favorite people in this business, one of my favorite people to be around, one of the best motherfucking people in the world. Nice. He's been nice to me since he was driving the blue Lexus coupe. Ooh. Oh, nigga, I don't have no history. Yo, the, big no flex, history. the black big flex is it wasn't even mine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> he's been nice. He's been driving the blue Lexus coupe. And, you know, listen, he's the first dude to have the hoes in the club what? showing love. Showing love. Hello. Okay, I, don't, I think that we have to talk. Everybody oh. is all the hoes in the club showing love. You're the first nigga to have it that way. Uh-huh. Jazzy Fair, everybody. Woo! Give it up for Jazzy Fair. Everybody give it up for Jazzy Fair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're now tuning into the very best. It's yours truly, Jazzy Fenzel Burgundy, Obama Luther King Jr. Jackson, five the first. You dig? Not the second. The biggest name in the longest name in the business. Oh boy, you know what I'm saying? My man's over here. Let's go. God show, man. This is our show now. Let's go. Oh boy, let's go. All right, let's get it. <laughs> I'm still trying to digest that intro. Like, wait, hold hey, on. Yeah, yeah, Jackson, the intro. five the first. Obama. I'm, I'm gonna get you together. Okay, you gonna baby. Gonna do it. All I'm right, well, you, you know what? Like you are a character, and I think that's because you are a mixture of Memphis, LA. And Atlanta, right? You, you East Coast, you character, character, yeah, yeah. Don't do that to me. Where you, from? you know what? We're not gonna start that. <laughs> where you from? I'll be like, I'm know. from Harlem, the capital yeah. of the world. Yes, Swag. thank you. Hello, you had a, okay, 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 okay. Ray, get, get yeah. jealous. We don't have no producer you. with more personality than this guy next to me. I promise. You, you. In Amen. history, I can't Amen. think of one producer that has more personality than you. I, I wasn't ever really trying to out personalize nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Under the Jesse Jackson act. <laughs> Jesse Jackson always making words up. Hey, no need for everybody to get panicky. <laughs> Don't get all panicky. It didn't mean shit, but you knew what it meant. Let's go. <laughs> as long as they got the message. Yes, right? Lord. But yeah, so tell me a little bit about that. Coming from Memphis, L.A. and L.A., how does that all affect your creative process when you're making music? Well, should, we, should we start the show? No. When y'all ready? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't talk, like that. You know, I got you know, one track mind, motherfucker. <laughs> right. I hear voices, I be like, huh? Okay, yeah. So you are a mixture of Memphis, LA, and Atlanta, right? How do all those places play a role in what we see today, this character that is Jazzy Faye? Um, starting from Memphis, right? Mm-hmm. Memphis was just my my launch pad. You know, I was that's where I was born. No, tell us about I was, the drugs I was you born, were I was born, born in Memphis. So, you know, uh, my mom and dad were both in um, the entertainment business. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll get on that as well. I, know, I didn't know but, moms. I knew dad was. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, didn't know that. I mean, but mom was like kind of aspiring at the time. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I was five years old. So we both, me and my mom, you know, my dad and, and mom split apart. Mm-hmm. My mom had me on her hip, took me to L.A. My, my grandmother lived in L.A. Oh, okay. So we moved to L.A. At, when I was five. Oh, I thought you were So didn't. when I was five, I, I, we moved to L.A. So she sang backgrounds with everybody from uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire to the oh, Gap Band to wow. a lot of different people, you know. And so, therefore, a lot of times, you know, those guys would be on tours, and we would have to be in different places because rehearsal yeah. is, is, like, grueling. So mm-hmm. you have to be, like, able to commute. Easy. You, you know. watched your mom at that oh, young yeah, I was age there. Go? I was there. Oh, cool. Every I was there. It's a lot of times at rehearsal. Mm. I was there, you know, with Shaka Khan sometimes, with oh, wow. the Doobie Brothers, with Rick James, with everybody, with the 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 
um, switch, not Ooh. not the barge, but switch. <laughs> I call your you know, name. All of them. I was backstage and kicking it with all of them regularly at their houses with their kids, and you know what I'm saying. Wow. But all of that. So you know, um, growing up like that, you know, I had no choice but to, you know, to inherit the music. You know what I mean? So when I was um, about when I was 11th grade, 10th grade, mm-hmm. 10th grade, 10th grade. So 10th grade, I, I thought I wanted to slang some rocks. <laughs> and you're in L.A. I right now. I laughing at you, but you just... <laughs> I thought I wanted to slang rocks. I thought, you know what I mean? And and, and now, I, it, I'm going to tell on myself for y'all that really, really do math. You know uh, how old I am? Because it wasn't no crack on the on the West Coast. I mean, on the, on the, on the um, South Coast or on the East Coast. Oh, he was ahead of time. No, it was... Yeah, it, it was... was it, well, we had... We, we didn't really know what it was. We mm. knew it was rocks. We called it rocks. We didn't call it crack. It wasn't mm. even crack. It was like rocks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. So, I got caught with it in my pants. What's the movie Damson is in? Uh, what's the show? You was around... Oh, Lord, don't bring Snowfall. Oh. Yeah, so my mama... My mama sent me yeah. back to... He's sent original. me back to my daddy. Like, I can't handle him no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm hiding scooters. I'm hiding uh, clothes in the back and... You know what I'm saying? That she didn't buy, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I wanted I wanted Fila. Back then we was wearing cross cords. That's some exactly. West Coast shit. Y'all don't know about that. But you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, fast forward, moved back to my grandmother and, and my dad, because my grandmother, my dad was on the road most of the time. Mm-hmm. I got good grades so I could go on a tour with Barquets. So I was out there on the, in the summertime, you know, to be able to hang out with him. You know, I would be out there with you name it. Any band you want to name from Michael Jackson to the Commodores wow. to everybody. 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 Everybody that came to the Mid South Coliseum was there and they always kicked it with my daddy. Oh, wow. And I was like, man, why they always party with my daddy? But, you know, that's mm-hmm. everybody in our kitchen. Dennis Edwards, uh, the Temptations, uh, uh, everybody's it. But I found out that my daddy was the party. Oh, there go the answer. The party, but we ain't gonna get all like, hey, up now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Is every, what I hear is, you know how you be like, tonight? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guaranteed you're gonna see at least three or four people from the tour oh, wow. at our house. Lit. Because it was a party. I know that's yeah, right. Party, yeah. So, how, so you inherited that work ethic. And it always mom. pop off about 1 a.m. <laughs> you would come sneak down to the party? No, nah, but I, then we had like these, like the, the doors right before all of the action were like little, you know, the little French doors that you mm-hmm. just push them a little bit and they yeah. open? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, ain't nothing but them little two balls on the yeah. top. Hold that shit. <laughs> you just kind of push it and you be like, oh, shit. It's a party Fuck party. I just said, I <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't going to say what I saw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, yeah, so... um. My big my question was how did all those places kind of affect what you create musically? So what um, did you take from Memphis? What did you take from LA? What did you take from Atlanta? everything? I mean, all the see because the music is all about information. Mm. It's about information. So that's like I, I tell my writers and my producers all the time. Like if, if they don't have a vibe going on, I'm like, step out, go outside. Mm. You can't be a recluse. You know what I'm saying? You can't be inside because you need information to thrive. Mm-hmm. You need that. That's why people say they go to the, the strip clubs. No, we like to go to the to the adult emporium Ooh. because that's where the girls come and they actually have a conversation with you. Oh. You know, yes, yes. You Aluvia, got a different you will. Al- Under the <laughs> Alluvia <laughs> Act with the, with the, you know, the lobsters and such. Yes. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, funny, hey, hey, funny. my guy. I mean, yeah. So you you want to be around a conversation because the the you know the people that that talk you know they're giving you the information they're giving the stories. Mm. So that's where you know the music and everything comes from. I know you said that you don't really write any of your music. You just go in the booth and kind of feel it. So what's that creative process like for you? Um, it's just I and it's not that I don't write. It's just I don't use paper. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because even like with me and my brother Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? We just get in there and we just go back and forth. You know, we just, we kind of come up, we come up with a concept. There's a method to the madness. You coming up with a concept, you, you, um, um, creating the music, um, everything. I mean, it's, it, it goes from, from sometimes it's just an idea from last night. Okay. The party's adjourning. You know what I'm saying? The lights are on. Everybody, you know, I might have a hook. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hoes in the club, so <laughs> shaking that ass in the club, nigga. What? And I'm taking it to the studio. Mm. Damn, that go with that beat I did the other day. Oh, so you didn't write it to that beat? Who? 
That, that record, you just wrote Well, actually, that story is different because that's Tila. That, you know, Tila actually came up with the original idea. Yeah. I had the beat. Yeah. We didn't have a vibe. Yeah. So we went out. I said, man, let's go out. Yeah. Let's go to strip club. Let's go out. Um, I don't know if we went to Pure Passion. We're going to get Pure Passion to hype because, you know, <laughs> the, that's just Pure Passion. I mean, you know, it's Memphis. You know what I mean? Exactly. So we, we, we go to Pure Passion. We come back to the studio and... All of a sudden, I mean, I think we had about eight or nine, you know, yeah, of uh, imports. Of course. You know what I mean? You that have we, to have those. We brought in, you know what I mean, for, for our uh, adult pleasure uh, <laughs> and, and that night. And and then so we, we in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get through this. But then, like, <laughs> so, so I'm in the booth. I'm in the booth. I was like, oh, dog, I got it. I didn't know what I had. Yeah. And then um, that boy said, it was some hoes in the club showing up, shaking that ass in the club, nigga. What? I said, what did you say? <laughs> he said, I said, and then he said it again. I said, all right, play that beat. Boom. My boy, Neil Jones, who actually played the yeah. bass on there, that cold ass bass. Yeah. But he was also the engineer. Yeah. Neil Jones, I played it again, bro. Boom, played it. And mind you, we didn't have that space age sound. That yeah. Yeah. I didn't even have that sound. I didn't have that yet. But I came in and I was, I was like, play it. First thing, no no cap. First thing I did was hoes in the club show. Everybody just start circulating. <laughs> just like a club. You can wait if you're at a club yeah. and, the, and the hit come on, everybody start moving. Yeah. Like, nigga, I need to get my drink, get back to my best friend. Mm -hmm. When the chorus come, I'm going to yeah. sing that motherfucker with him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what, it, that's what it is. So I knew we had something. Everybody start circulating, moving around. And I'm like, oh, shit. Sent the record. Fast forward, we sent the record to A-Ball a and MJG. They was like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I was like, oh, damn. I found out, like, oh, damn, y'all don't love that? It was like, but it was another record that he had, and they were a duo, and he had, a, like, a, 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 a Run DMC sample, and it was, yeah. like, dead set on doing that one. Yeah. And I was like, no, no, this the one right Was he here. on Swap House already? Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he had just signed with Swap. Yeah. He called me. I was in Atlanta. Yeah. He called me, come back, he come to Houston. Yeah. Well, actually, we went to Memphis to record. Yeah. yeah. Then we went to Houston after we, you know, yeah. we turned up because we had, we we went so hard on show enough that I had to move to Houston. What? Yes, I had to move to Houston because they'd be like, okay, Thursday you got a show, Saturday you got a show, then Sunday you got a show. You don't got no shows. Then the next week, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday you got a show. I'm like, nigga, I ain't gonna be at home. Exactly. So we just start having shows every day almost. Yeah. You know, and that's why when you see a lot of Houston cats and you be like, who is this nigga? Yeah. Like they they just they can they can when you go from okay, let's say from Decatur to East Point. Yes. The same people would not go and see Jeezy. Big as Jeezy is. Nope. You're right about that. They will not go over to East Point if they from Decatur. Nope. If they see you, they'll be like, What you doing over here? Yeah. You must have a show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Or you must be with Slim For Thug sure. or, uh, or you know what I'm saying, sure. uh, or Mike Jones. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You must be with one of them. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So that's how it was there. And we made so much cash. Mm. Man, we made stupid, stupid cash. And see, you got to think now. We was rocking the cream, the silks, which everybody thought they was Versace shirts. They, <laughs> the cream, the silks are the silk joints that look yeah, like Versace. Exactly. You know, nigga rocking with a top hat, like <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah the like cream, on, like on Players Club. Like, exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. those are cream, the silks. They, they're, they're amazing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them because yes, <laughs> they, because sure. they really helped my wardrobe. <laughs> <a whole lot. laughs> but um, nobody really brought the pimping to um, to the South like me and T. Even no. Tila, now if you see Tila, he gonna have a suit on. Right? If I say Tila, come up here, we're doing an interview, he will have a suit on. With, with, with a fur Right color. now. Right now. Coat. Yeah. 25-8. <laughs> <laughs> Not 24-7. You understand me? Five, eight. Yeah. Pimper says Moby Dick was a, was a goldfish. <laughs> you understand? I never heard that one before. <laughs> this man is something else. Yeah. All right, Ray, you said that he's one of your favorite producers of all time. Period. When you think of his name, what is the first song that pops to your head? Hey, let's get away and get a room. That on one. On the other side of that town. one. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you something. That one. Okay. Uh, fucking sick of being lonely. Fun mm. fact. Fun fact about Hey, let's get away. Tell me. The first Hey, let's get away. It hey. was two different versions. I mean, I'll tell you about okay. it. Okay. So everything. the first time, I think a lot of people really uh, Ti fans. Yeah. They, they really they know. Yeah, they they know. Like Denzel. Know. When Denzel Washington sees me, he was like, you know, I gotta have it. 
You know what? I, and he don't say nothing to him before he say hello. He be like, you know, I got to have it, right? Come on. <laughs> I got to sing the hook. He, yes, he want me to sing it. Hey, let's get. And he likes the old version. He likes the hey, like the let's version. get away. And get it wrong. He wants that version. So what happened was that version, by the way, Carrie Hilson was on that version. Yes. That was Carrie Hilson singing yes. on that version. Yes. Because, you know, Carrie was writing with me every day exactly. with, with, you know, Belewa and the guys. Exactly. And, but mostly Carrie with, with uh, me, Jante, and, and uh, Sierra. We yep. were working on the CC stuff. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole other thing. But, but um, um, we were working on that. So she was on that record. So what happened was, in the meantime, I was talking. I was with Atlantic Records at the time. We have, thus we have Mike Karen. Shout out to Mike Karen. Yes. And uh, Mike Karen was like trying to clear the sample. Mm. We were content with the version we had because the you know everybody was like they was loving the record. Mm-hmm. I don't think people have ever told this story. We, me and Tip, I don't think Tip knew. I think Jason Jeter might have known, but we didn't know that we were doing that version. Until they said playback. At the, the video. Reason, yes. Because, <laughs> hey, let's get away was the original version. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which was from Aretha Franklin, God rest her soul. Yes. Uh, from Daydreaming. Daydreaming, I was thinking of you. Daydreaming, I was thinking of you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had to change the melody. Because they wouldn't clear it. Mm-hmm. At first. For radio. They, it was on yes. The album. No, they yeah. wouldn't clear it, Period. Oh, they wouldn't clear it. They wouldn't clear that version, the other version, the ver- the day you man, I was thinking of you. Mm-hmm. That version, they wouldn't clear it. So once we got, when they said playback, they played it. You should have seen me in this nigga face. I'm looking like, what is this, bro? It took me. I was baffled probably the first three four hours of the video shoot because <laughs> it's two different versions. The video, the video shoot version, I never got into because I already heard the album over and over and heard the nah. original version. Yeah, I'm like, ah. yeah, it was two different versions. And you know, it's one of them record company things. You know, they, like why we got to pay these people? Like, we love what we did. <laughs> Let me tell you the third one. It's one that you go, that nobody in this room know. Maybe Vaughn know. Nobody in this room know. We still. Oh wow! Brother, let me tell Gangsta you something. Gangsta boo. Bro, let me tell you something. You brought, I was oh. coming up in the music business and I was managing Noah. I didn't and know you nigga, know about that. This nigga Jazzy, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how. We came to the studio and you was like, y'all want to hear my new single? And we was like, hell yeah. And then you play that shit. I remember thinking like, fuck, we got a long way to go. To this day, I ain't heard nothing that sound like that. We still making it money. Like, I, like making it easy just, money. Still, the hoes a style. What? All about that paper. What? Don't fuck with haters. What? Cheaping on that drove. <laughs> Don't fuck with hoes. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. So we still is a record that I remember playing in the studio, being like, "Fuck, I'm just a pimp, certified man." Because you had a bitch, let me bang, hit from the back, <laughs> fire up the drove, <laughs> sip on the yak, call another freak. I'm out in the lack. The J, the A, the Z, the Z, the E. I'm a P, the I, the P, the P. I remember the J and the beat dropped the J, the D. I didn't even know I knew that rap. You talk, we walk, we pimp, we sipping for real. You sipping for real. The money, the cars, the clothes, my nigga, my nigga, we still. It's only on YouTube. That shit was hard. It's only on YouTube. Yes. It's only on YouTube. And you got to find it on the album. Yes. It's on a, do well. Yeah, do you know this Playboy album? It's a whole album. It's some other niggas on there too, but you know we ain't gonna talk about that yet. Wait, I got a question. Do you make money off of that? Oh if my it's god! Not oh, I'm sorry to cut you off. Oh, sorry. The fucking Little Wayne record that you did with Get, with fucking the Al Green uh, remake. Ah, so much fly. Oh, way more wow. fly that, than you. That's a you. good one. That's a good one. That's I'll a good take one. Take your dime from you, Bruh. I'm trying to tell y'all when I say I fuck with somebody, I mean that shit. And the one you did, and it's one that only Atlanta people know that you did with Jody Breeze that put Jody Breeze on the map. The fucking um, Stay Fresh. All, All a player, player do is stay <laughs> fresh. <laughs> if y'all Come go on. back, if y'all go back, see this connects to another part of my story, but if y'all go back and look at the Stay Fresh video, Jeezy's in the back. Dressed like who? I don't know he's dressed like, but I know Jeezy. We're all dressed five. alike. I know he's in the car. We're all dressed alike. And we all it, wearing matching dicky suits. And if you go to the Sierra Goodies video, CC? Is, is, is there somebody else in the um Where? who else in the 
It's when in Sierra, one Jody Breeze in the car. Yep. In and the, the Sierra, yes, yes. I know that's Jesus, right. Jesus was in the passenger seat. Oh, no, nah, I grew up in Atlanta. I'm yeah, telling we, you, we you Jazzy Faye, yeah. when you get in the room with that nigga, it, the room changed. Bro. You understand? smell. one of them niggas that got in the room. If he said your shit was hot, you was getting a deal. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know I ain't lying. Hello. <laughs> you was getting a deal. Jazzy Faye fuck with your shit. It's over. Mm. Facts. Um, Won't so, it do it? I'm sorry. I'm like. you. Um, so you've been in the game clearly for a while now. Mm-hmm. Technology, technology has changed so much from mm-hmm. back then to now, even how we release, release music, but mm-hmm. making music. How has all the new sounds and the new equipment, how has that affected your process and what type of music you're putting out? Crazy part about me is all the, all the, I'm always collaborating. Like every, almost every record that I do is a collaboration mm-hmm. from um, the things I did with Too Short to the, you know, Sierra, everything is pretty much a collaboration. I love working with other people. So through that journey, I've kind of bounced around through a lot of Akai equipment, like from the MPC 3000 to the 60 to the X to the all of the Akai stuff. I was really loving that. I actually me, Toomp, uh, a couple of others, like maybe Lil Jon, I, I think Premier, a couple of other people helped build the Renaissance mm-hmm. MP, MPC. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? But I think they discontinued that. You got that? Yeah. Oh, I thought you can. You know about it. Yeah, but yeah, but um, I, I think people, you know, uh, um, people really love that machine. But I went back to the three thousand. The three thousand is like kind of like a lot of cats will say it's a dinosaur, it's a big ass yeah. machine, but it sounds so good. Mm-hmm. All of that, all of the hits you've heard me do are from that machine. Oh, that's mm. cool. So sticking with not you necessarily that that machine, but I got like six of them probably in they in the cut. But you know what I mean. And you're a fire writer. I That's do another it. thing about you, bro. People I do think you're produced. Nah, nah. You 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 wrote the um, what's the, what's the record the, with Lice and Keisha on it? Uh, the kid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, ride good. Ride good. I never. I, I was never gonna title it that, but yes. it's all good. <laughs> ride good is the record. Uh, yeah. Lice and Keisha. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, um. Shout out to Mix Master David because yes. Mix Master David brought that. He uh, uh, produced the record with me as well. Oh, for real? Yes. I know that. His guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mix Master David. You know, Mix Master David located a sample in a minute. What? So, you know, he really, you know, uh, put that play together with me. And, um, uh, man, I just went in there. I was like, man. Because me, I, when I go in the studio, I'm always trying to, it's not about what you have. It's about what you don't have. You know what mm. I mean? So, I'm trying to give you what you're missing. Mm, so, I'm right. going to go in and, and give you that piece for the puzzle. I'm like, you ain't really doing no melodies, and you don't have a softer side. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So she went out. I think she was out smoking. She was mm. doing her thing. And I know when she get to smoking, she want to come in and be a thug. Yeah. I'm like, okay, how, <laughs> I'm gonna, how am I going to talk her into this right here? You know, because uh, I had already prepared the record. Mm. But I was like, I wanted to go in there and get her vibe and then do the verse. And then she was like, okay, play it for me. When she heard the hook, she was like, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's me. So, you know, people kind of like, okay, exactly. I'm going to wrap my brain around this shit. I go in there and like, boy, you got me working all the time. Give me a It ain't a thing. She's like, okay. I was like, when she heard herself singing, Dang. then I think she got excited. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good, great record. Great record. So if you are working with an artist or anybody and you have different opinions on a project, how do you kind of decide which way to go? Do you kind of back off? And if it's their project, you just let them do whatever with it? Or do you kind of stand your ground a little bit more? Because you just said you didn't want that record kind of named that. So you had a whole different vision type of thing. For it was kind of like, I, I, you know, sometimes every once in a while when you're moving around and doing a lot, mm-hmm. you know, business keeps moving. Business is always moving. So me and Ray might might do something, and if they make, he and him in Tehran over there making a decision about a record that we all did, and I don't see nothing really wrong with it, mm-hmm. I'm, I ain't going to, you know what I mean? Everybody, the artist is with it. Once they lock into something, as long as it's not, you know, doing the wrong thing, mm-hmm. Or, or represent, you know what I mean, misrepresenting me, I'm Gucci, I'm, I'm good with it. Because, you know, a lot of things came out, I mean, like Earthquake. Earthquake. Earthquake, right? Yes. The Lil Wayne record. Yes. The record is not called Earthquake. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <Ha! laughs> it's not called Earthquake. So Cash Money, you know, it's, it's always been a subsidiary. Mm-hmm. So they want their money. So to get their money, they had to turn in the list of songs to get the money. Send us the money. <laughs> they got the money, 
but they were still changing songs. Mm. So the song that went in the earthquake slot ended up being Shine, which was oh. I'm Way More Fly Than You. Mm. Yeah. I never understood the title, by the way. Until, like, well, that's why. <laughs> yeah, but everybody loved it, though. Like, you know, all the DJs like, yeah, earthquake, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's hilarious. Yes. That's not because the song, the earthquake record, is like, it's like the earthquake. It was like some rapper shit. It Literally like some, has nothing to do with it. Ha, it has nothing to do with it. You had, you was one of, Jazzy Faye is one of those guys that had a legendary song deal. Also, you in the music business, everybody heard, cat, baby pulled up and packed, backed up a Brinks truck and gave you a Man, song Man, listen, deal. Uh, uh, <laughs> shout out to Greg Street. <laughs> Shout out to Greg Street. Greg Street. Shout out to Greg Street because Greg Street brought baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Baby Williams over the over the noontime. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting over there. I'm over there sitting in the um in the studio, and Greg was like, "Where you at? Where you at? I'm about to pull up on you." So he pulls up first, and he said, "Man, he looking at his clock. He like, baby, baby about to pull up, man. Baby, baby about to pull up." I was like, "Baby." Like yeah, cash money, baby. Baby want to meet you. He want to meet you, and uh, and he want to do some songs with you. And then he's like, and he started talking low. He's like, man, I think he want to do a deal with you. He's like, want to do, you know, because he know I'm I'm with Noontime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, with me and Noontime, I don't know if anybody ever knew, but we never had a deal. Oh. What? No. Get the. F- no, I never had a deal with Noontime. You was I had a deal with you- Noonie with Show Enough. You was a f- because we have to be legal to get paid. Yeah, but mm-hmm. Noontime. I've never had and a. You were the face of noontime. Yes, but I had a deal with noontime, but it was it was like it's just, it's just loyalty. It was mm. like, nigga, I'm I'm your dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's real. When Noonie would get a Range Rover, he'd give me the one. He just, Aww. you know what I'm saying. He'd exactly. be like, man, I ain't really crazy about this one. I'm like, bro, it's ten thousand miles on this thing. Get it here. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, here, take that. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to Noonie. Big big shout out to Noonie, man. He he had shout a whole to lot to do with me shining real big in this game. And, and you know, New um, Time was very New Time did a whole lot for the city, but didn't really get a lot of credit. We're we gonna get to that. Yes. Okay, but yes. first, this 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 number one stunner move. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was a real stunner move. So you gotta know about this. So so Greg, Greg was like, you know, baby coming or whatever. So I'm I, we look on the camera and I see this. <clears throat> you can see like the corner of the mm-hmm. building, the brick building, yes. and the and the and the back is kind of small. You know, on yeah, that, that uh, on that Marietta true. area, yeah, yeah, Marietta Street. Oh, we got you. Where yeah, yeah. where, where Neho was? Yeah, exactly. Back there. So he going back and forth, trying to trying to make this this little PT Cruiser stretch limousine <laughs> go around the corner. He's trying. I'm like, bro, just leave it right there. And walk to the. He trying. He rocking it back and forth, and all of a sudden he just pulls it up. I'm like, how the hell did he get this thing back here? <laughs> so that little stretch, you know. So yeah. imagine me, I'm walking outside, you know, I didn't already seen, you know what I'm saying, bling, bling. Exactly. And, 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 I, did you know Baby at this the, time? The, no. I never oh, met him. Never wow. seen him in my life. Never seen him in person. So he pulls up. I'm, I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. So he pulled. So the, the car from bling, bling pulls up <laughs> to your damn back door. Right. The door that I walk out to have a smoke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, He's like, I told you it was coming. I'm like, yeah. It was like him. It was, um, I think it was Cito, and I think it was Lack, and uh, uh, somebody else. Man, I can't remember who else it was. But but anyway, um, we go in there. We, he comes in. He said, Yeah, say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fizzle, Jazzy Fizzle, man. You Jazzy Fizzle, huh? Say yeah, he said, man, they talking about you, bro. Fresh like you, bro. Man, <laughs> fresh, man. Hey, when fresh say something, dog, I got listen, bro. We got a whole lot of work, boy. You know what I'm saying? I want to stunt with you, bro. I want to, I want to sign you, bro. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to stunt. I said, man, I'm signed with Noon Time. I'm yeah. with Noon Time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said, okay. He said, okay. He so he looked at Noon. He was like, he looked at the street. He's like, man, so so man, let me know what what we gonna do? A hundred? Uh, you know, seventy five? How many beats we want to do? So me and Noonie was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I said he was like, man, well, like, man, let me let me start, let me do fifty with you. I said fifty what? So I thought he's like fifty thousand. You yeah. know what are you gonna give me for fifty thousand? He's like, no, nah, I want to do fifty songs. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do a fifty song deal. Call your attorney. Call my attorney. Noonie, can we do that? Can we do that, bro? What exactly. you what y'all want? Exactly. I put it. I put a ticket in the bank. What you want to do? Yeah, I was like, all right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, because let, let me tell you what that's important for history. 
That was the first time that Cash Money opened up their doors for somebody outside of another producer. Yes, mm, the first like, time. That's why. That's mm. why. That's why he Little Wayne records. Mm. Cash Money opened up. They would. That's me and Fresh too. Fresh. That's me yeah. and Fresh. Yeah, that's me and Fresh. That was the first time they ever did that was Jazzy. That's, that's a why big I level. They had to know you for them to get. Yeah, that's a big level they of trust. Made a bet on you. Yeah, yeah. First How did they, they get your you? music? First day met me. Shout out to Stunner, man. How did they get your music like on all that stuff? Mm -hmm. How did they get your music? Like, how did... Everybody knew about them at that oh, moment. Oh, so you were... All, oh, so yeah, yeah, I was... I, that's after, yeah. you know... Oh, I thought that was before, see? No, that's we, after, we messed that up was after that Sierra and all of that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, you were already what, good. Yeah, yeah, it was popping. Yeah, but, song, but, but here's the thing. Producers weren't getting deals like that. So everybody in the no. was talking about it. Like no. Cash, especially from Cash Money, because mm -hmm. First thing he did... First thing he did do... He was like, say, uh, they tell me, bro, you be making songs in five minutes, bro. It's like, yeah, 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 okay. Um, all right, well, well, make one. Uh, put you on the spot. Yeah, he want to see it. I mean, I'm about to give you 50. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I think he started talking to uh, um, to Street, and they kind of walked out a little bit because I, you know, I turned my shit all the way up. Because yeah. I'm hearing them talking. I'm like, I don't want to hear them talking. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So I turned <laughs> it up. Uh, all right, done. Woo. Playing a beat. He's like, okay, okay, that's hard. That's dope. I go in the booth. I lay the hook. He was like, oh, this nigga. Oh, yeah, this, this nigga different. He said, say, bro, you just came up with that? I think it was uh, on the rocks, I think, yeah. or something like that. No, uh, what's it? Uh, no, Ice Cold. Tell me why is it so, so, that I'm so uh, ice cold. Uh, to, but then you change that for somebody? Yeah, you I just want you to know. No, no, no. Because that, that sounds no. like pretty toes. That's pretty toes. Yeah. But I wrote that too, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's ice cold. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So we, we, then, after that, he, I guess he wanted a new vibe. He picked up the whole cash money and brought them to Patchworks. Yep, and that's where y'all set up shop. That's why we, Leslie Brathway. I went over to uh, Dallas, and Leslie was just over there, just in there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Dallas was kind of like, you know, on his yeah. kumbaya. Yeah. <laughs> we had a super duper Dallas Austin, Austin yeah. Powers. You know what I'm saying? In real life, he was loving his money. You know what I mean? But, you know, all the engineers are just sitting there like, what we doing? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So I like Leslie. I'm doing 50 songs. You know they're going to have to be mixed. <laughs> yes. Thus, that oh, kind of wow. made the relationship with. Wow, patchwork in the whole situation. And yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Come on now. We're going we gonna, to we gonna keep a spade. We're going we gonna, we gonna to keep a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So, you know, but Leslie was already great. So yeah. I already knew that he could handle the, and he was organized, and he was dependable, and he was my guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and he was mixing my records anyway. So he was mixing everybody's stuff. But he, he really, it's really kind of put him, turbo boosted him back into the, you know, into the atmosphere. So one of the things that we've been discussing a lot on this show is artist development and how that's a key fact that is kind of missing in the music industry right now. Um, with artist development, tell me a little bit about that process of kind of trying to develop Ciara and why we're missing that link now in putting artists out. Boy. So first part. Right. First part of your I'm question. I'm going to break it down into two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> you, you do, do, give me the first part. One more okay, time. so the first, first part, part, just tell us about developing Ciara. Oh, so CC um, comes from came from a group mm. called Hearsay. Mm. It was three of them. It's three girls. She was not the lead, but TA. TA. Shout out to TA. Anthony um, TA. Yeah. Tate. Tate uh, brought C Sierra over to DARP while I was working. I was Dallas Austin gave me a room mm. at DARP. And I was over there uh, working, and he was like, man, you got to have an artist, dog. That's going to take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. And Noonie was saying the same thing. He was like, man, listen, <clears throat> I got somebody. You know, I want you to check her out. You know, and um, he, I think it's, I can't, if I remember it right, he was kind of like wanting me to kind of guess which one uh, mm -hmm. or, or tell him which one he thought was the dopest. You know what I mean? But he said Sierra, but I was like, I don't know if I was locked into that was her right there. You know what I mean? But when they performed, in front of me, I was like, <laughs> huh, exactly. that's the one. It's like, yep. He's like, yep. So the the lead singer, her dad was like, 
the Matthew Knowles or the right. like my girl. Uh, 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 like, mm-hmm. That didn't last long, yeah. but you know, we, we got CC back in there. We started, we started kicking it. The first three days we even kicked it. We didn't make no music. We didn't make any music. What we did was all we did was just kick it. And I just vibe with her. And she was, she would drop it in. Every time we play some music, she dropping it and popping. I'm like, oh, like a old lady with a shawl. I want to put it over. Like <laughs> she got too much going on. Cause yeah. she was a lot thicker then. Yeah. yeah. She went <laughs> like she was a little thicker then. Yeah. So you know what I mean? But she was, <laughs> but she was she was. And she was, and when she was 17, mm-hmm. yes. you know, she was like just turning 17, yes. like young, you know what I mean? So, you know, but she was sexy though. She yeah. was so sexy, and you mm-hmm. could not deny that. You know, um, so um, I want to make sure I stick to the script. Um, they, they, uh, uh, we did the deal. Third day we worked, me and John Tay got together. We wrote, you changed the game. I like the thug style. First record we wrote. I think after that, it was just on and popping. Like, we, we wrote, like, probably four songs that were all on the Goodies album that week. You know what I mean? It's just a vibe at mm. that point. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. So from there, we went to Divine Stevens. Shout out Divine Stevens. Divine Stevens. Divine Stevens. Divine Stevens came and put the footwork together, like put put her in that in, in the lab, you know what I'm saying? So she could, you know, she could get all the way down and, and, and dirty with the with the steps and where to be and how to be and you know what I mean, all of that. Then, you know, of course Jamaica. You know, Jamaica yeah. Craft was yes. in was was amongst that number. So, you know, they still have a relationship to this day. Jamaica but, still does yeah, yeah. to this day. Yeah, to this day. Yeah. Uh, but but and um uh styling. Now with the high with the, with, with, with the high boots. This is really No, no, listen. Right? Styling with the high boots and the, the low riding pants mm-hmm. and, and the and the, the crop top, top and mm-hmm. and all of that. That that was that was Tamika Foster. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Tamika Foster, some of, you, some of y'all Tamika Raymond, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whichever one y'all want to know. You know what I mean? But but Tamika Foster is her name now, so that's who she want to, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, uh, for real, I mean, you know, because some people know her as that. So, But yeah, um, but that was kind of the machine, and we took that to L.A. Reid, Shakir Stewart. Shakir Stewart. Shakir Stewart. Shakir Stewart. Shout out to Shakir. Took me to a meeting with L.A. and was like, hey, uh, we want to meet. I never really had, I just had success off of my records because I had a company behind me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I never had John Tay, all of these guys have really had big executive, and they were all younger than me. They had big executive meetings and all the Clive, they talk about, yeah, Clive was dancing around it. I'm like, man, I ain't never met Clive Davis. I ain't, you know, <laughs> but I just, I'm just had a lot of success and people were in these big places like, I want to meet Jesse Faye, I want to meet Jesse Faye. So we go in there with LA. I'm meeting. So I'm not knowing the behavior of uh, a young executive to be how to play records for him. So I'm, I'm playing records. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I just did that for Joe. Yeah, I just did that for Slick Rick. Yeah, I just did that with Outkast. Yeah, I just did that for Tony Braxton. He's like, okay, that's great. And he said, those are all great records. He said, but what do you have that I can take? Right. That I can have. <laughs> that's all I have. And he really kind of taught me, like, we, I wasn't even knowing that I was there for that. Mm. Shakira said, "Play the girl." Mm. At the time, she wasn't ready. She was in the in, in the uh, in the um, in the rehearsal hall at the time. Mm. Her hair wasn't done. She was looking crazy. So we we over there. He says, "Play me something." So I go down to my car, pop out the CD, I put it in. First record I played. First record I cut. You changed the game. I like it. That, that nigga went crazy. <laughs> soon as we did that, la, 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 Man, he was like, nigga, what is that? What does she look like? What does she look like? I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, my God. He said, she real? How tall is she? She's tall. He, like, he knew. He, I was like, man, she like 5'10". Yeah. And a half. Still yeah. growing. Yeah. He's like, what? Yeah. I got to meet her. I was like, bro, she's not ready. <laughs> she's not ready. And he was like, man, I got to leave town. Shake. If you can get her here first thing in the morning, get her here. Mm. Get her here. We come. First thing in the morning. 
I got my whole crew with me. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And we about to talk yeah, the deal. Exactly. LA walks in like, y'all niggas move out the way. Where's she at? Where's she? <laughs> Man, he saw her. He just opened his arms. And that Aww. was the deal. It was done. Oh, wow. Deal was done. We saw her. He was like, oh, because you know, we done got it together now. Mm -hmm. She was up all night and glam. Like, you know what I mean? We put mm. together a little outfit or whatever. Man, done. So when you said, oh, go ahead, go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead. When you said she wasn't ready, what did you mean? Like she needed. Like you know, imagine you don't ain't got your hair together. Oh, this time oh, oh just like get yeah, come up here. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you meant. You ain't more got no like, makeup. You ain't got no lipstick. You ain't yeah, got no nothing. Got, no. Because LA, LA want to see it right, and he want to mm -hmm. see it in fifteen minutes. Yeah. The done product. The yeah, final. he want to see yeah. it. He don't want to play with. Yeah, he want to see you right now. He got something to do in forty minutes. So did you do the deal? So you did the deal with LA Sierra first, and then you did the deal with Jeezy. Or was that? I thought because. Yeah. Cause Jeezy came after. Yeah, I, I didn't. People didn't even know Jeezy was signed to you when he first came, went to Def Jam. Yeah, that's what that we had an argument that. about that. A lot of people didn't know that. See, so that's another. Yeah. that's the whole point of this show. We want motherfuckers to understand. See now, why you a goat? Yeah, Jeezy. Jeezy walked up to me at the same at the same. He, he I, I saw him at an event. I saw Jeezy at an event. We were at um, I don't know where we were, but we, I would see him often. I see him out, just out, just kicking it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause you know. We, we like the same type of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jeezy, Jeezy had a little, like, you know, he of course he had a thug vibe to him, you know, but he was still, he liked class, though. Yeah. He always liked class. So, you know, where I was at, I was always around, like, you know, uh, uh, mayors and maitre d's and all that. I'm like, he'd be standing outside waiting for him to come walking out. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got the chain on way down here. It yeah. said Jeezy on it. I'm like, yeah. what you do, man? I be seeing you all the time. He's like, man, I rap. I was like, man, I don't rap. I said, what do you need to rap for? He had all so much jewelry. I'm like, man, what the hell going on? You know, he had old school. I think the day we talked like that, he said, man, I'm going to come up to you. He said, man, can I come by your studio? I'm going to bring you some music. I'm going to bring you some music. So he brought me some music. He brought me like eight CDs, the same CD. They were a package. And they said they were called The Soft and The Hard. Yep, I was interning. Oh, you like, remember that? I was interning. Oh, like for, drugs, like yeah, I was interning. Like drugs, for soft in the heart. Now he had he had everybody from Trick Daddy to uh, Lil John to to Bone Crusher. He had everybody on this CD. Like you know, you know Jeezy. Now he is not known to have no bunch of features now. Yeah. But but back then, like he passed a Troy. I think he had everybody yeah, he on there. That's Troy was on the single. I think yep. at the time he yep. was trying to yep. win. He was trying USDA. to win. USDA. Yep. <laughs> trying to win. So he he was like, I was like, yeah, yeah. So I got eight of them. So I'm like, let me pass them out amongst the homies. So, you know, this when I hear it, I'm like, okay. I, I'm hearing what he's talking about. And I'm like, oh, this nigga thug for real. He really, really doing, you know what I mean, a lot of this shit. Or he's seen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So so um, I handed out to Meezy and all, all the guys up there, uh, uh, Nooney's brother and all of them. They called, they hit me up. They like, nigga, number five, nigga, on the first city, nigga. Number six on the third. Now, nah, nigga, I'm like everybody. We in there arguing, like, like, wait a minute. <laughs> How'd you get that nigga on the phone? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Get him on the phone. Boom. So, so we we you know it marinated for about a week or so. Man, let's call. Let's call. Uh, let's call Shake. Yep. You know, we got Shake on the phone. Shake was like, man, we got to get this. This is this urgent right here. This is urgent. This mm. is urgent. So you know, his kinky B, kinky B, Coach, uh, Coach K. Self. Uh, no, no, it's just, I'm going to tell you who's all in the meeting. Oh. This is New York City yeah. now. We we touched down New York City. We, we uh, Kinky B, Coach K, uh, Jeezy, Nooney, Big Zach. Yep, Big Zach. My brother Shout Big Zach. Zach. Uh, I said Nooney. Uh, um, uh, um, Karen Kwok. Mm -hmm. Karen Kwok, of course. L.A. Reid. Um, Tina Davis. Yep. Kevin Lyles. Wow. Uh, Bartles. Wow. Big Bartles was in the building. Uh, Skane Dollar. Wow. Yes. Uh, um, who else was there? Who else? There was a couple other people. Clue might have came by. I think Clue came by later. Jim Jones walked in. He had a cape on. He was getting a haircut because diplomats were in the building mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. L.A. was in his makeshift office that was his other office was getting prepared. Yeah. So he walked in, and L.A.'s eyes really blew up at the time. And they let me know later that... Jim Jones 
didn't really rock with L.A. like that. Oh, wow. At the time. Yeah. Because he thought he was foo-foo. He thought he was an yeah. mm -hmm. R&B nigga. Yeah, that took over Def Jam. Right. Yeah. He thought he was an R&B nigga, and he didn't understand their culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No hate or nothing like that. It was just, it wasn't in, nothing yeah. in there for them, yeah. for the mm -hmm. diplomat. Like, the dip said, you're going to give us L.A. Reed? Yeah. Thanks. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it didn't feel like that. But when he heard that, he walked in and said, hey, Playboy. He looked at me and said, hey, Jazzy Face him, man, hey. Hey, hey, he looked at L.A., he said, fuck that up. Mm. Mm. He said it just like that. He told him, just like I never forget he said that. He said, boom. He said, like, listen. But after that, that was one of the things that L.A. was like. His eyes was like golf balls. Like, like this nigga ain't never walked in my office. I knew that at that moment that he had never walked in L.A.'s office. Yes. And that meant everything to me because we had really struck gold with that. He was like, listen. He didn't, it was early in the day, so he was like, uh, what y'all eating? You know that move. <laughs> I'm like, let me order y'all some food. He gonna order y'all some food. Get your attorneys nowhere. on the phone. Y'all ain't going nowhere. The rest of the day. He said, get on. He said, he said, uh, I told, I told Jeezy. I told her, I said, man, when you get in there, he gonna make you perform. So what you mean? I said, yeah, he gonna make you perform. So he's sitting there with his arms crossed and he played a record. He played the record. The record was um Bun B, him and Bun B and, and, and uh, Shadow River. Yeah. We're getting money over here. Yeah. What it do, pimping? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Jamming. LA jamming to the record like that. He's like, okay, okay, okay. What else you got? They were set on that single. And I was like, okay, you know, because you still, it's still CTE yeah. inside of noontime. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So it's still, they got their own thing. So I want to be respectful and be like, so I, I kind of let the air. Like, you know, it started getting weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mind you, all of those people that I named yeah. were not in the room yet. Mm. You know, L.A. hits a button. Yeah, L.A. tells you everybody He hits get a in button here. Get in here. when he hears what he wants to hear. Mm. Yes. I played a record, and it was called Dave Chappelle. Mm. You, but you might know it as I'm Rich, Bitch. Mm. Two cars in a truck. I'm Rich, mm -hmm. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Hit the club, tear it up. I'm Rich, Bitch. At the... Dave Chappelle was like the new shiny dime. He was on fire. Yeah. He was on fire. So when he when 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 he heard that shit, he, that nigga was like, hey, he hit the button. Now everybody Skane walks in. <laughs> Tina Davis walks in. Every Bartles walks in. Boom. Once once everybody got in the room, nigga, the room was not even big as this. It was hot as a firecracker in that bitch. He was like, all right, give it to me. I, I said, I looked at you, I said, I told you. I stood up. I said, man, come on, young. I'll do it with you. Had to. Come on, let's go. He stood right there. L.A. sitting right here. Everybody around, just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Played it. We did it. Done deal. Done deal. And Sierra's already signed at this time. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Done deal. He's like, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nigga ain't finna be walking around this town when, and not sign. Nigga, no, you're not. Then you're finna sign today. Get everybody on the phone. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. That was the beginning. Play a game. Oh, so we have a game we play. Right. So um, I'm about to put you on the spot, right? <laughs> Did anybody warn them? Did anybody tell them about the game? Okay, nobody told them about the game. Okay, <laughs> Don Beauty's supposed to tell them. So, uh -oh. here, so here's the game. So I always see the clips. I don't never no, see no, no, that. No, no, no. This is our first time. Oh! But it's so. <laughs> you did it big in me. <laughs> Actually, All right, let's get it. Actually, we the second time we did it with Toomp. Toomp loved it. But here's the here's the deal. So we're gonna give you. So we have a nonprofit, right? All right. It's a nonprofit. It's a little game ball. And it's nothing. It's, we, all, <laughs> we have a nonprofit called the, the Creative Academy. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you three options. All right. Sign, develop, drop. Right. If you the the segment's called "Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is." Right. Sign, develop, drop. All right. If you don't make a choice, for every time you don't make a choice, you got to donate twenty dollars to the Creative Academy. All right. It's only twenty dollars. Right. The fuck? It's only the twenty. Kid. So we're gonna we're gonna so <laughs> so we're gonna place you the answer and you drop have, meaning drop like what? Sign. Jazzy is and mind you, everybody's in a peak. Jazzy is. The producer, the CEO, show enough. I got these three artists in a peak, and you have. I'm giving you the option. You can sign one. That means you. I mean, you giving them all the money, and then another one. You like. I'm gonna put some energy in him, and then the other one. He going home. Drop. Oh. Sign, develop, drop. Oh. All right. It's gonna be fun. 
Oh. <laughs> I already know you didn't thought of that. Uh, All right, let's go. All right, cool. So, All right. and if you don't want to make a choice, you know, you yeah, know, I, yeah, I gotta pay. Just twenty dollars, yeah. man. Twenty dollars yeah, yeah. to the credit. It's for the kids. It's producers, man. I'm gonna make a choice. Now, it's a nonprofit. Uh -uh. I'm trying to lose my money. Make a choice. <laughs> I'm gonna All make right. a choice even if it hurts me. All right, you ready? We going first. It's not from my heart, y'all. <laughs> Eight ball and MJG, oh, Outkast, <laughs> and UGK. Oh. You said you was gonna make a decision no matter MJG. what. I don't even like Is this hard bond? <laughs> hey, brother MJG. Outcast, UGK. You're signing one, you're dropping one, and you're gonna choose to develop one. Who you signing, who you develop, Look at his and who face. you dropping? <laughs> oh, it's only $20, man. It's nothing. Man, I give you $20. Oh, <laughs> not on the first question. <laughs> you got my dub. <laughs> right. I'll cash at you, man. No, I can't. No, no, we he listen, Bro, I can't. He, he got the nonprofit right there. He gonna <laughs> he he be there collecting. This is a setup. Hold on, hold on. It's for the this kids. This is Bro, not Bro, fair. It's for the kids. Hold on. Now, this right. ain't fair. Hold on, hold on. You ready? T.I., Ludacris, Lil Wayne. <laughs> I just donated. Oh man, okay. I see how that play this shit. <laughs> Some people make you drink. We gonna go walk out and be like, nigga, you gonna drop me? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they gonna say. You really, nigga? All them check, nigga. I paid you on time, nigga. I'm the main nigga. I knew that what they were doing to you, nigga. You paid you on time. And, and you got hits with all three. Man. You got hits with all three. You got hits with all of them. Oh God, man, you are terrible. You are a terrible man. I'm gonna drop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sing all rap, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twenty more dollars, I got. <laughs> take take yep. this all the dough. Man, this nigga know how to get money, man. Huh? Forty for the kids. These niggas know how to get money, boy. I can't. Hold man, on. All right, this I'm one, not gonna embarrass my right, damn right, self. But, but I think this one should be easier. This one should be slightly easier. Ah, uh, right? I doubt it. All right, Monica. Ah. Uh, Brandy, stop, Sierra. How is that easier? <laughs> I had no hits with Brandy now. I saw I said it should be easy. I'm dropping Brandy now. I'm, ah! I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. God damn, man. I'm finna call around the jerkins on y'all. <laughs> this is some bullshit, bro. I hate this fucking game. This By the way, the came up with don't this, ever do this, this shit again. It's fun with kids. Hey, this is a kids. great game. It's fun as for the kids. But let's do a hat. <laughs> you should do like a hat. <laughs> no, 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 no. What with the hat? What? We got, listen, a hat. A, I, like a hat. They like all pull, of their prime. Pull them out of a hat. They all of their pull prime. Pull three names out of a hat and then tell you what you'll do with them all. But they're all great <laughs> names. Mm -hmm. We all in that prime. Look at him. He's look trying at, to get out of this. Look at your man. Look at Vaughn. He's look trying at to get out of it. Vaughn, we're here to change Vaughn, the game. The kids, now right? we're here to change the game. But we are here to change. We are game it. changers. You, I thought we was game changers. He saw Sierra already, so that's why I made it easy. Sierra, Mike, No, Brandy. but uh, no, but no, no. Even if a nigga never worked with Brandy, he always, until it's over, you still aspire to work with her. She's just one of those people. You know what I'm saying? And I love her. She loves me. Like, when we see each other, it's this always... This man is trying to distract us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, is. Like, I love her so much. And see, I've made records with Monica as well. So, you know, and Monica's like family. Like, me and Who's Monica... Who's getting dropped? Monica and Sierra's like family. Like, Monica's in my first video. <laughs> Who's getting dropped? Nobody. Okay. Uh, Ray. <laughs> Dre, we have the three, Dre. This is amazing for the kids. We're going to send this video to the kids, man. They're going to love you. They're going to love me. I, I love it. By the way, it's a producer. I love them. By the way, it's a producer school. They help And producers. I'm coming. Oh, my. Come on, man. It's a school. has for producers. Come yeah. I can't get there fast enough. Okay, cool. Ready for Let's the next up, one. Rick Ross, Young Jeezy, Gucci Mane. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So they gonna be like, drink hey, that nigga hating on now. Drink champs make you fucking your liver get killed. We we, we doing something better for the people. Oh, uh, shit. I'm a drink champ. Play, you play with shit. <laughs> you like, I ain't trying to win shit. No, it was a drinker. I'm not. Yeah, but um, man, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this game. It's so much fun. We got, I don't like it, bro. We got five it's more. just a really cool way to get it's money for your, your shit. I get it. Well, I'm not nine, dropping none of them. <laughs> I mean, no, because I always think about, like, even, like, I think, like, in the beginning, 
the harder to see as an executive from the very, very they, beginning. Oh, listen, peak. listen to me. Okay. No, 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 not in their peak. I'm talking about when it's time to sign. Okay. At the, at the in the beginning would be Gucci because you be like you see something like Gucci and you don't really know if he gonna be what he became. What he yeah. I definitely yeah. see that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And but I knew he was great. I loved him. Yes. Me, but see the difference between me and a lot of other people is I'm from the dirty, dirty south. Yes. Mm. So I would assign him first. Because that's just me. So Gucci, you signed. So we got yes. Rick Ross and Jeezy. But, but, but see, let me so hold up. But <laughs> Rose, Rose, the first time, the first time I got with Rose, like really, really sat with him. I put a song on his album. We did it, did it for the low. Yes. I did it for the low. Yes. So we did that. Yes. And you know, that's that's the sweet spot right there. Nigga buy one of your records. It's, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He always gonna be, you know. <laughs> and okay, what was it? T.I.? No, um, Jeezy. Signed. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Get your money. Oh yeah. Ding 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 ding. Oh, get your money. Hold on. Okay, so you got the bag, bro. You got. <laughs> you got the bag. Okay, cool. We go. Cash up the guy, we man. Go, we go. Yeah. We go. Hold on. We got a couple more. I'm done with this, this shit, bro. Whatever it is, just. This one is okay. This one should be I fun. Forfeit. This one should be fun. <laughs> no, this one should be fun. He don't play fair. Hold this on. ain't fair. Jay-Z. I can do that shit. I can play. I can do this easy. Jay Z, Kanye West, Drake. See. How Come on, bro. Easy. How you gonna drop that? In hindsight, <laughs> how do you see it? But you know, I, but no, 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 no. Honestly, though, that's a dope game. Gotcha. But because I always think to the beginning, and it's a great game because it makes it jogs your mind. And I'm first time we saw Jigga was presidents to represent me. I yeah. was like, nigga. Yes. I call niggas on the phone like that. Nigga hey, cold. Did you see this nigga? This nigga said, I forgot, I can't remember the lines in it, but he, that nigga was spitting. I was like, woo. I said, I think this nigga's for real. Yes. I he was like one way. of those guys outside of NWA, because I was on the West Coast at the time, I, that I was like, this nigga is the real deal. Mm. You know, I, and I felt like that about Nas. I thought, I felt Nas was more like a East Coast version of Scarface. Yes. You feel me? Yes. Like a storyteller. But when but J- but Jigga, I was like, no, this shit real. Mm. It was a different conviction and a pompous attitude. Like, nigga, I don't need your money, nigga. So we signed a Jay-Z. He never, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've signed a Jigga. Every point. time. Okay, develop. now let's go to the beginning of, uh, uh, to, to Ye. <laughs> He's so smart. <laughs> Ye, what what Ye, what, what did Ye do first? What was Ye first? Uh uh the wire. Out. Oh, through the wire. Through the wire. Was that the first? Yep, we was rapping through his, with his mouth. It was something else before that, though. Nah, through the wire. Out of here. We love that. That was crazy. Yeah. And and the 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 speech impediment and everything mm-hmm. that shit was a, a thing. Yep. That's thus Fifty Cent. Like you know, Fifty mm-hmm. had a similar mm-hmm. thing because he had been shot in his mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. yeah. and if you notice, after he got well, he still did it. Channeled it. Yes. That showed how smart a nigga was. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Those things, those little nuances let you know that a, what an artist really, really, you know, embodies. You know what I'm saying? They they, they, they buy into themselves. Yes. You got to buy into you. And then Drake. I mean, Drake, um, I think from, what was that first mixtape? So Far Gone. Come no. on, man. Oh, Out of here. I played the skin off that motherfucking record. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I'm giving y'all y'all twenty dollars. So, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, but I, but I, but that was like that was a, that was like an that one right there was was special though because those all those artists like like really 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 left the footprint. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They they have a, 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 a you know really something to be revered. And as you know, when you talk about greatness. Mm. Talk about greatness and and what you can aspire to be in this game, and you know the the, the heights that a nigga can really reach. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that shit's crazy. It's way beyond music. We are gonna stop at five because all right, yeah, because you. I don't want no more money from Jay. I don't want no money from Jay. You tried. You tried. I wanted that. Boy, we give you an attempt. I wanted him to be able to. I just want to. You can do a thousand. Aw. But we ain't got time. 
All right, Tamira, back to you. Back to you. Um, what's the part of your story that hasn't been told yet that you want people to know? The part that you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> to be continued is not written yet. Yeah. You hiding secrets from us? Huh? You hiding secrets? Mm, no, I'm not hiding anything. Mm-hmm. I would like to know. I, I wanna know. <laughs> I'm just not telling them. <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to know. You, you are like one of the nicest guys in this shit. And when it was time... Like, the fact that you had Jeezy and you had Sierra and you decided when it was time, you was like, I'm going to just take my hands off. That's some solid shit that you did. Well, I don't know if it was solid or stupid, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, things just, you know, they take a turn and, and, and you know, you just have to let people fly. You know what I mean? You no, let me tell you why them. I said it was solid, because some people have done held on and become the villain. Mm. And you've never been the villain. Cause you, was, but, but, but look at what you're saying about me, though. That's just not me. That's what I'm saying. Like you but, wasn't and, but, but, but it ain't even that. My counsel wasn't mad at me. Mm. It, 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 it was on me that they didn't want to slap me upside the head with something. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I had a lot, it was some dark sides now. Some dark yeah. sides to those conversations in the back. Yeah. Mm. Because I was the decision maker. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. And if it was my decision, y'all gonna have to just go with what this is. Exactly. You know what I mean? Or, you know what you can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is me. Yeah. Who life is this now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody got all these wonderful things they, they think they, they can do with your career or your life or your money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or your, you know, the way you sleep at night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you the narrative in the streets was Jazzy a real nigga for that. Hey man, because you know sometimes people. Like, but, man, but, so. but but that real that real nigga shit just just ain't, ain't the greatest all the time. <laughs> it ain't That's the greatest right. all the time. You know what I'm saying? So you know it's a lot that that people don't see. It's a lot that people don't know because we don't share. You, you know, know you're the mean? first person to tell me about the dream. About what? The dream. You the first person to introduce me to him. You know that right? You and let me tell you what you said. What I say? You said mm-hmm. you said the the dream was working at. Um, uh, noon. T- I mean, not new time. No, it wasn't new time. Red Zone. Zone. And Jazzy, we, we was interviewing you for something, and Dream walked out, and you stopped the interview, and you said, "Hey, that boy right there, the next R. Kelly. I want everybody to know he the next R. Kelly. He gonna be the biggest thing." You said that. You stopped the interview and said that, and then went back to the interview. I was. Who was I interviewing with? It was the interview. We was doing the interview for a documentary. It was. I was kind of there hanging out, but you stopped and was like, "He the next R. Kelly." So. Fast forward. Well, not we're not gonna fast forward. We're gonna go back. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go back. Okay. Because first of all, my brother Vaughn was the first person to introduce me to Dream. Oh wow. He introduced me to Dream. Mm. Right. So Vaughn introduced. Brought, I was working at Patchworks. I was in between places. I was. I had. I had. Um, me, me and Nooney had separated. Yeah, this you know is what I'm like saying? Just and I don't know time. bad turns or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? That's always my brother, and, you know, we always going to be family. But I was just trying to really find something different, you yeah. know what I mean, with my career. Mm-hmm. You know, I wanted some some get up and get down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm over at, at, at Patchworks because, you know, the, the, the energy flows through. So yeah. when the energy is flowing through, you can find those things and you can you can latch. You can you can handle, you know, you can grab what you need. So um, I'm over there. Curtis Daniels, shout out to Patchworks, everybody Curtis, over Curtis. there. Um, and and, and even, even Big Bob. Um, man, I was there. Vaughn called me and said, hey, I got Esther Dean. Yeah. Uh huh. Another bar. Yeah. I have S- I have this young lady named Esther Dean, and I have the Dream. They work at Rezone all the time. I'm, I'm getting, Jazzy. Look, man, you gotta work with them. He ain't even. It wasn't, it wasn't even a question. It's like you up there. You at the studio? All right, I'm on the way. Mm. Boom. So Vaughn brings him in. <sighs> Boom. So so he's like, Vaughn was like, hey, play play some beats. I'm already playing beats. Probably I think you know, play some beats. Dream. You know, he's like a motor, like a, a just. Like a fax machine, uh, a money machine, spitting out lit mm-hmm. and shit. This nigga, one hook, two hook, three hook. Go in the booth, dog. Boom, he goes in the booth, lays a song. Dean, they they land songs together. They they man, I think Vaughn, how many songs we do that day? We we might did about nine, mm. probably been about nine, nine ideas, probably about four or five. Like I think hit records that, that I think that were just crazy. Um, so this went on, was that two days in a row? Like two days in a row, they came back. So 
Now, in my mind, like I don't, I don't know how it happened, but over there with Tricky and and all of them, Don Vito was there. Yes, Don Vito, Don Vito was over at, at Red Zone. Yes, Don Vito so, had that corner. So road. yeah, Don Vito, <laughs> Don Vito over in the cut, rallying, rallying, like like and and bombs like. <laughs> Uh, uh, hit Tricky. He was like, "Man, Tricky want to talk to you. Tricky want to talk to you." So I go over there. We chop it up. Man, Tricky like he like, "Man, why you over there, at Red Zone? Why you over at Red Zone? Why, I mean, I mean, why Patchwork. you over at Patchworks? Yeah. Why you over at Patchworks? You know, working like that. You know what I'm saying? Paying all that money. You know what I'm saying? You can just have this room. I come out of this room. You can have this room. Dude, so you know, Don Vito rallying to have me over there. Vaughn rallying to have me over there. Uh, I came on over. Yeah, came on over. So you know, um, working with them. And fast forward, uh, what? Remember the time when they when they got into it, uh, uh, Dream and Chris Brown about this record. No, I didn't know about this. You don't remember? He was on 106 in Park. They was beefing. Uh -uh. <laughs> he was like, "Yo, Dream, I'm pissed off at you." It was put you to bed. Mm. bed, bed. That's where he took the record from. I took the record to Chris Brown. Remember that one? I, I took the record to Chris Brown and was like, oh, "Yo, but." I thought they T.A. Awesome. called me on the phone and cussed me out. Hey, nigga, how you gonna send my record to, uh, to Chris Brown? That's my artist record. I was like, oh, shit. but Because I would never see Jay Valentine. Yeah. I would never see him around, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Wait, yeah. what's his name? Jay Holiday. Jay Holiday. Jay Valentine is My bad, man. Jay Holiday. That's my brother, man. Jay Holiday, <laughs> yeah. I love you, bro. Smash record, man. I love you. Great guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I love him. But I never see Jay Holiday. Yeah. You know, um... And so he was like, yeah, yeah, that's our record. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Tina Davis called me. Ah, you gonna call him and he can't get the record. So I was like, call Dream. <laughs> <laughs> call that nigga, don't call me. So they ended up making another record. They ended up making a relationship or whatever. You know, uh, I think Chris might have been chasing that record ever since. But I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, but... <laughs> I thought I, I, he took that from Usher. I don't know. Because I remember, no, I, remember no. they they, I remember they said they fucked up a relationship. They might have fucked up a relationship because they kept it with the home team. Right. Yeah. And it was my fault. Yeah. That was my fault. I take the blame for that. But, you know, we're going we gonna to ask for forgiveness. We ain't going to ask for more, yeah, no permission. Know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, also, I mean, you know, we we over here working. Um, I was working with L.A. Reid. I was working with Karen Kwok. Um. Uh, on a on a girl on a girl group called a girl called Jane, you remember them? Of course. A girl four, called Jane. Four wasn't it four girls? Three girls was it four or three? Four. But they was, so when they signed the Bernard, I don't Bernard's I, group. Man, I don't know, but yeah. but they were they were with LA at the time. Yeah. So she brought brought them over to Red Zone to work with me. Yeah. So me and Esther Dean were working on them. She she had like what Esther Dean was writing and. Dream would peek his head in and throw in some stuff, you know, here and there. He was working on something. I don't know what, what it was. So um, she came in. She said, she stopped the beat. And uh, we we like three songs in. We got a single on them girls. But anyway, we're sitting in the room. And she said, well, I'm flying out. And in, in, uh, in I'm going somewhere else tomorrow. And the next day I'm flying out. But I'm going to... Um, I want you to I want you to work on it. I want you to uh, uh, give me something for this girl. I mean, and like, keep keep your eye out for this girl. You remember Rihanna, upon the mm, replay? You remember yeah, that? Exactly. I was like, yeah, upon the replay. Yeah, Rihanna did it from the Barbados. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. She's like, oh well, she's coming back, but she's not that. She's like, she's changed her style. She's she's done this, and Jay Z's one hundred percent behind it. Yeah. I was like, ding 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 ding. I heard exactly. my chick getting all this money. He's <laughs> going exactly. over the Def Jam. Was like exactly. doing all this shit, and I'm like, oh shit. He like the hottest nigga in the news right now yeah you know what i'm saying I'm like okay okay so i said me and in in the building like he could tell you there's a network there's a network in the building so i can get online and i can find out what kook is working on i can look at what what tricky is working on this room los the maestro over here don vito over here everybody in the whole building i can see it on the computer what they're what's up oh, wow. boom so i go in oh there's all the dream records. Boom. Listen to this. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, under my umbrella. Eh. I played it for her. Played it for her. She was like, oh, shit. And the girls were in there, mind you. The girls. Girl named the, Jane. Yeah, girl named Jane. I was like, they can't have this record made. <laughs> <laughs> they was going crazy. They was used to losing their mind. I was like, nah. They were trying to get the record at the time, I think, on... At first, it was supposed to be for Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. You know, Britney Spears, she kind of wigged out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, and she wasn't, you know, yeah. there. And um, 
then it was like supposed to be, I think, Mary J. Blige yeah. and Akon. I think that's what Chris Hicks was like, kind of lobbying for that move. Oh wow, something like that. But but that was the move. I you took, play Umbrella right. for, for No, I played it for, for Karen Kwok. Uh, that's Def Jam. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I like to that's be specific. How, but that's how no. The I say that is because that's how. That's how it entered the building. Yes. L.A. Reid gives Karen yes. Kwok yes. credit I for discovering it. that record. Yeah, That's how she went from being, you know that's how she went from being an admin person to a creative A&R. Remember she well, 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 let me give you a different one. Uh -oh. She became an A&R because Dream said that if she's not the A&R on my project, mm. I'm not doing a deal. Mm. That's why oh, she's wow. an A&R. That's important. That's why she's the A&R. That's crazy. I no didn't cap. Know that. No cap. They let them tell you what they want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Truth serum. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not you better know get that. it right now. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, you know now. We on the God show, man. Where else would I mean, you know. Oh, my God. Look, your brain is So little... once you become, like, you're already legendary to us, but once you come legendary to London Town, <laughs> you know, those guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I thought Chris Hicks did that. They want to know, man. They want to know this one. This is a big show. I thought Chris Hicks did that. Yeah, yeah, he thought so too. Oh, I know that's come on, bro. He ain't even heard that fucking song. He he had heard the song. Yeah, but he ain't know what to do with it. Yeah, but so now now Dream Dream was actually taken to uh, uh, Tricky Stewart the right way by Vaughn. Vaughn was the first person to welcome in there. That's yep. crazy. Dream was working yeah, Bond, with. Why you, Bond have Dream, was, job. What the fuck Dream was working with B Rock. <laughs> you was signed, what, but you were signing Def Jam at the time. Dream was working with B Rock at the time. <laughs> Wasn't it B Rock or something? He was rapping on. He was singing on B Rock beats. Yeah. Man, y'all did all. I, this is shit that I didn't even know. Like, I, I didn't Court even know Ray. That you had Esther Dean and your Dream, two of the greatest writers of our Seriously. time in the room, on a come up in your room trying to get. I didn't even know that. But the only reason why I couldn't sign them is because they were already with Tricky. They were already with Tricky. Me and Tricky were teammates. That's yes. my brother. So Thus, we did just fine together. Yeah, like, exactly. You know, just fine with Mary J. Blige. A lot of people don't know that. I know you did that. You know I what I'm saying? That. And also, um, uh, what's the other record we did? Uh, Shakedown with Usher. You know, mm. Shakedown. Shut know that. Down. Yeah, we did that record. We did we did some other records. I guess we know. Tell me, but, your, but that was the biggest one. What is your top five records that personal favorites that you did that you like? I love these. Um, I, you know, I'm partial to one two step, of course. Um, we that's just a smash. Uh, come over, Aaliyah. Nah, stop. I don't uh, throw this, I flip this fucking table. I don't know you did that. Hold on. I, you know, I know all your shit. I didn't even know you did that. Me, I know Jonte wrote it. I didn't know you did it. That's me and that's me and is that B Cox? Mm, another now, B Cox. I don't wanna, Aaliyah. I don't wanna be. That's me too. That's me. That's me and Donnie Scants. I wanna flip this fucking table over. That's me and Donnie Scants. <laughs> I literally I just stop, got through I talking. Flip this table. Nigga, you know the fuck. I did not know that. Google it. Okay, so Google it. I don't, so, but you so, know what? It's weird because it doesn't come up in Wikipedia. Mm. So no, no, that's fine. Somebody but you can Google it though. So we got three. We got one, two step. We got Aaliyah. No, I, I don't want to. No, come over. Three more of your records that you like. Your personal favorites, like bro, that. My personal favorites. Um, I was always a very uh, like like. Show enough is definitely show enough got to be in there. Show enough is in it uh, because that. that was the record that really started me. That's like really number one because it's like the record. From, we that's said the record. Went from show enough being the song to, to a label. label. On, Big Zach, yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to Big Zach. Fire. Big matter of fact, Big Zach wrote uh, uh, "Put Your Fingers Up." Bang, motherfucker! I remember Bang. That. Yeah, he I remember wrote that, that hook, and I did the beat. You know what I'm saying? I think Zach went from writing songs to restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, like he's a, a yeah, he, he's Zach. on some other. That's crazy. Shout out to Big Zach, man. Shout Big Zach, you gonna come up you know, every, every time in my interviews. You know that. Exactly. It's my brother. You know. Um, so what we hoping? How many local Green, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Local Green. Yeah. Got four. Four. You got one more. Showing up is the fourth one. You got one more. Oh, damn, man. I'm gonna say just fine. Mary. Mary J. Blige, because I felt like when when. Chris, Chris Hicks, shout out to Chris Hicks. He brought, brought Mary in the building. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
We were in the building. We, me, Tricky, Dream. Um, that's when Kendu was around at the time. You know, shout out yeah. to him. But it, you know, uh, despite the differences, but but um, we were all having a meeting about yeah. Mary J. Blige's project. Yeah. So we we're in there having a meeting. I'm sitting literally at the um, at the table where my NPC is. Well, Tricky's NPC, but I'm tapping it and it's got my sounds in it. I'm just messing around, you know. So. Our meeting is adjourned. The meeting is over. She's waiting with Chris's wife, sitting sitting on the couch, and they just talking, having girl talk, and they talking about um, barbecue. She wants, so I'm calling my guy, and he's gonna bring her some barbecue. So we waiting on him. You know, it's Mary J. Blige, so he want to fix a new batch. He want to, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. so he taking long. Exactly. He taking crazy long. So, so, so we in there, and she's, and, and then um, I think I maybe tricked my dad. So, what do you want? Want people to know? You know, um, but she's like, I want people to know that I'm not sitting in my ten million dollar house uh, 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 playing. I'm not gonna cry plucking my eye eyelashes <laughs> out. I was like, What you want them to know, then, man? I want them to know that I'm just fine. <laughs> she said, I want to know I'm all right. I'm just fine. And I said, Oh. And I started beating on the drum machine, right? Just messing around. It was a whole another vibe, right? I'm over there. She's like, This where y'all be making beats at? Like, yeah. She said. Now ask her, ask Mary. She said, "Y'all be making beats while y'all don't, man. Don't nobody never. Every time Puff them bring the song, they bring the song to me and be like, here go the song. This is the concept. They might let me help write the write on the song, but they don't never make the song right there with me from zero. I was like, mm. what? I said, okay. I turned around and I'm thinking about Cheryl Lynn Encore. Yeah, y'all yeah. love. Boom, so I saw boom, cat, boom, cat, boom, cat, 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 boom, cat, boom, cat, boom, cat, 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 cat. So I made I made the beat. Boom. So they hear it out in the hallway. They like, she like, oh, that's it. She said, that's my single. No music, no nothing. She said, that's my single, nigga. Wow. She stood up, she was dancing, she was like, that's my single. That's my single. I was like, what? Can do like she know, she be knowing, bro. She be <laughs> she knowing. knowing. I'm like, I don't know if you've been a yes man. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, and I you know Dream came in and said, so he said, what's that? What's that? What's that? You know, he like that. Not, uh, 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 Cook was there at the at the board. Cook was like, you know, he's like, give me a track, give me a track. So he looked at uh, after he said, give me a track. He turns around to Mary. He says, he says, so 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 what is it? What is it? He's like, I was just telling him I'm just fine. I'm doing this. I said, okay. I ain't thinking about sitting around it. So I bet that nigga walks in, boom. All that nigga was saying, you know him, the re repetitive one. Fine, 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 fine. He was just saying fine. I'm like, okay. It's a, Jackson <laughs> it's a message shit. to this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then all of a sudden, he was like, start going just fine, fine. I was like, oh Hook. shit. Uh, uh, dream. Oh, dream. Okay, dream. And then it just, I, from there, it's a blur. It's like. Mm -hmm. Tricky came in, you know, he'd be looking over with glasses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he looking at it. He looking at whoever's creating at the time, he's looking like <laughs> that nigga like duh, 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 duh. It's magic, dog. Magic. Mm -hmm. Got chills right now just thinking about that. She was a magical day, bro. And it felt I could see something lift off of her. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I could just see it, you know, because I'm spiritual. I'm just really, you know, I love the Lord, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know when he's at work, mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And to this day, she closes out with that record, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And I really didn't jump on the front of that record because I didn't want to outshine niggas. Mm. <laughs> no cap. No cap. Because I was appreciative of where I was yeah. and who I was with, and I knew the royalty that was to exactly. preside. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I'm not going to. It was individuals like selfish to me. Yeah, of course. For me to say, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. I just let her do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was a smash, too. Yeah. And that was an And I wish I would have did stages. it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I said, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the spade a spade in 23, man. Uh -oh. Y'all don't ask me if you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you character, bro. I love it, bro. Yeah, man. They're going to give me mine. Give me me. That's well, what this, that's what this is one about. of the reasons Poop. why we actually even... <laughs> 
started this show was because we had a big conversation that stemmed from something that came from the internet, but the conversation around R&B being dead, right? So how do you feel about the current state of R&B music, hip hop, and just what's going on in the music industry right now? I think R&B has lost a lot of the love. Mm. It's built around lust. Because that's what we scroll and that's what we see. You wake up and you see in lingerie, you see in thongs, you see in Ass damn near it. no, you know what I mean? As <laughs> long as they butt neck, they be butt naked. And as long as they don't bend over and show the, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, what's left to the imagination? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that kind of perpetuates, that, that translates into your mind. That's what you think people want. So you want to mm -hmm. go, like... David Ruffin would never say, or Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass, or 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 none of them, uh, or or the Temptations, or Patti LaBelle. Nobody would say pussy in a verse. Mm. I'ma get up in your pussy. I, did that. I don't even like R&B niggas to say that. Mm. I don't care what y'all think. Mm. It ain't what it was. Mm. I was sitting next to Patti LaBelle at the BMI Awards, and somebody said that on an R&B song. She was appalled. She was about to leave. Somebody had to grab her to stay. Oh, wow. It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be that. I mean, true enough, we all adults. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we can have that part of R&B where it's sexy. That's cool. It's younger. It's, it's vibey. But we need that shit. Mm-hmm. That niggas be. Why, why, why every time you do an R&B night, the shit the craziest night of the week? Best nights of the week. Sure is. Best night of the week. Nigga, I had a ball. I sang all night. Mm -hmm. I got drunk as in my, I met my wife. <laughs> because you was feeling the love. Mm, yes. You didn't meet your wife. You was just feeling the love, nigga. You can't get past the blood smoke at all the other nights. You hit the hookah, whatever the hell you smoking. You done lost your voice. You can't even be heard. So it's the love. It ain't that the R&B is dead. Love. Mm. The love. It's so much death being normalized and perpetuated and pushed. We are in the last days. Mm. We are in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble. Mm. This shit ain't do? funny neither. If we are in trouble mm -hmm. if we don't shape up and make some music that make these kids say, I want to love somebody. Mm. That's so real. Make us that nigga Tyrese made a song. Him and Tank made a song the other night that brought tears to my eyes. Mm. I want that feeling all the time. Mm. I want that feeling all the time. And we're creating something now called the Trap Stars. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I say uh, it? Trap means <laughs> talent revolving around purpose. Ooh, I like that. Vaughn, Vaughn, that's not so, I sound like got Vaughn Prince all over yeah. it. <laughs> talent revolving around purpose, that's the trap. Ooh, that is dope. I, play, I played it for my mama last night, and we have songs mid-tempo, slow, that meet speed up, but it's like, I don't even, man, I can't even roll. It's so much to unwrap when you hear it. That's incredible. And, and, and by the way, we're going to have a little taste maker, and, and I want you guys all there. And I want to make it big, though. I don't, this ain't regular. Mm. This ain't regular. I'm, just to give you a, a gander at some of the names I want in the building, I need in the building, like yourself, like Tyler Perry. Yes. Like Whoopi Goldberg. Yes. Like not even just them, like even the, the ones that skew a little younger, like yeah. the like the Charlemagnes and the yeah. whoever, all of the messengers that touch these people, yeah. they need to see and feel the love. Mm. We perpetuating love. Bringing love back. Yo, oh, no, yeah, bringing it all the way back. I love that. And ain't no disrespect to nobody else, but this is, when, when, you, when you feel this, the closest person that came to it to me, in modern time, right now, in real time, is Kanye when he did what he was doing on Sunday. And I think he just kind of, he got it convoluted with yeah. a whole bunch of other, yeah. other money. That on. money, the root of all evil. Mm. 
Mm. The money. The money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I love Ye. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, man, you got to get to the love, baby. Yeah. And you know from looking at him, he got a lot of love in him. Yeah. He got a lot of love in him. You cannot be that dope in the fashion world without some love. Exactly. <laughs> you got to put love into that. Exactly. I don't care what you're talking about. Exactly. You got to put love to get niggas standing all the way around the corner for your product. Mm -hmm. That takes love. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to put the love back in it. And we got to wrap our arms around him. Mm -hmm. I agree. Because he's one of our guys. He's yes. one of our best. Mm -hmm. He's one of our best. And when we get him back into the fighting shape that he needs to be in, he's going to be what he's supposed to be for us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yes. Everything, everything is rooted in love. I, I believe that. Yeah, man. Everything is rooted in love. Kind of made you get emotional. I think she about to tear up. Oh no, I just feel the type of way because Kanye keeps marrying white women. But that's another story for. Yeah, yeah, day. that's that's something. I mean, that's part. But that's part Leave of the it to but, but, that's you know but you know what? That's part. He but asked you know me. I was that's over here crying. That's part of the confusion. We just had church. That's, that's part of the confusion. <laughs> that's part of the confusion, though. What's what's the confusion we have in here? No, no, I'm saying like like he's saying like. I'm not saying he don't love the woman. Oh, you, that's he's on my side. I think I'm not saying no, he, he don't love the woman. He I'm said, not, no, he I can't said it's, say it's, that. It's, it's I'm not at liberty to say nothing on. like that. It's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not. Gonna I say mean, but why would you even make a decision like that when you got all of this going right. on? Right. With your loved ones, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't right. It's How can it be? On. It's a show. But I think everything is a show right now. What you said is important. We have to wrap our arms around him. I think a lot of people got scared in the yeah. industry and was like, I'm not doing Kanye right now. I think but that. But you know how everybody is not out here? You do that. Nigga, you go get the Maybach. Nigga, I got to go get the Bugatti. You go get the Bugatti. Nigga, I got to go get the jet. Mm -hmm. You go get the jet. Nigga, I get a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> not the rocket. <laughs> I got to be the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no competition over here. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, and I'm probably richer than most of these niggas. Mm -hmm. That's real. But not because of money. And love, I'm about to say in love and Not everything else. because of money. Because these niggas unhappy, man. Mm -hmm. One thing about Fenzel, I ain't unhappy. Mm -hmm. I'm at the house celebrating, praising God, or, or, or whatever I'm doing by myself. All by myself. Happy. Contained. Mm. I, I ain't worried about nobody who left. They are not part of the destiny. Mm. Amen. They are not part of the destiny. Let them leave. Mm -hmm. Let them walk. When they turn around and see this, they're going to know, boy. They're going to know. And when they go elsewhere, they're going to remember. Because the love is recognizable whether you are of God or not. Because mm -hmm. the devil was once an angel. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to preach like that this today. I, know, I, was, I was ready. I, I should have brought my yeah, organ player yeah, up in here. We, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really had it going. <laughs> you know, but you know, I, it's, it's real, man. I, you know, I'm. The God, well, you, you can't name something to God show and not expect God to show up. Amen. That's real. I know that's why you about to speak. What? On it. That's a whole. I feel like you supposed to drop. The mic. That's, hey, nigga, you gotta give me that on that one. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a lot of money. Don't break it. I need that. 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 I, need I understand that. the cost of we'll things. Drop another bite. We'll drop another <laughs> bite. <laughs> so listen, yeah. we, have, we have this. We have this segment called. You cannot. <laughs> <clears throat> have a show. Say it again. Let's go. Call the God Show. And, and not expect God to show up. Amen. He will show up. And show out. Won't he do He's it? Just showing up in us. the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on now. Oh, because everybody get it twisted sometimes. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Who woke you up this morning? God did. Who took you on your way? God, God did. Who showed you the light? God, God did. did. Oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> God did. <laughs> Hello. I want to get that, give you that a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, we need the Lord, man. Man, if we ever need him, surely we need him right you now. You need to drop an album, bro. Oh, don't worry. I, I just it. told you. Right. The Trap it. Stars. Incredible. Crack Javon Dewan and the Trap Stars. Love it. Oh, my God. That's going to change the game. Oh, my G-O-D. Mm -hmm. We had the God show. Let's go. What is it called? Is it, what, what, give, me the, give me the acronym. It's Goats and Underdogs. Goats and Underdogs. I'm a goat. Well, Damn I was right just about to ask you that Damn one. Damn right you are. I'm a goat. 
one of the greatest of all time. One of my favorite producers. I've of never all time. said that, Period. by the way. First time. It felt good too. Mm-hmm. Say that shit one more time. I am one of the greatest <laughs> of all time. Amen. Let's I'm, go. I, I Can I get everybody in the room to say it, man? Hold on, we're gonna do this right. Say it again. I am one of the greatest of all time. Can I get everybody to say amen? Amen. amen. That's a lot yeah. of relevance. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so <What's that? coughs> so yes. we have we have this we have this segment before we wrap. We already asked a question. We have this segment called Credit Check. Credit my check. my thing, Jazzy, is I ha- and Vaughn, because you in here and everybody in here, my problem is is that people always want to give people their flowers, right? But flowers come at the end of your death and flowers die, right? Mm-hmm. My thing is fuck flowers. Give me oh. my motherfucking credit. Because I can leverage that credit and go do something with it later. Credit check. So this is a moment for you to give credit to the people that allow help Jazzy get here because that's important. We ain't giving them flowers. We give them credit so they can go leverage. Who played a role in Jazzy's career? Who was the person that you just like, give them some credit? Well, I, you know what's crazy about me? When you think about Jazzy Faye... All you think about is a nigga giving out flowers because all I say is, ladies and gentlemen, and after that, it's somebody else. Yes. Mm. It's always me pointing to somebody else. Yes. Here comes Sierra. Here comes Jeezy. Here comes Too Short. Here comes Tony Braxton. Here comes Aaliyah. Yes. Here comes Miss Elliott. I've always given out credit. Exactly. No, that's right. Give me mine. That's what this is. Give me mine. My motherfucking man. We ain't really got to go down the line talking about all this credit. Because I can't remember. I, it's too many people. Yeah. I start with my first grade teacher if I had to. <laughs> like, I'm a credit giver. That's what I do. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Well, I want to give you your credit. Thank you. I want to tell you that you've inspired millions. Mm. You've made hits. You've made a mm. lot of people rich. You've Ooh. been a vessel Ooh. that God has used to bless so many, because there are a lot of motherfuckers that would not have a career Ooh. if it wasn't for you walking Hello. in the room. Thank you, Jesus. So this is this is the whole point of the credit check. I'm giving you your credit. Mm. So now niggas could take this sound by the under and be like, damn, I ain't where Jazzy at? Get Jazzy in this motherfucking room, man. Cause the whole music industry watch this motherfucker. And they need to know that you are one of the goats out here. And nigga, you have had one. I didn't even know that you come from that kind of greatness. I didn't even know that you was a kid around Rick James. Man, yeah. All the coke yeah. parties and shit. Michael like, Jackson. Rick James' all. daughter. Rick James. Boy, <laughs> I'm saying you was Rick a kid James, around all. Yeah, Rick James' <laughs> daughter is one of my best friends in the oh, world. Wow. That's crazy. Ty James. That's crazy. I was with her last night. We was out last night. And so, so, so you are a legend. You are a goat. And this is giving you your credit. Can everybody give Jazzy his motherfucking credit? <laughs> Do it? I have I have a feeling that this is not the first this is not gonna be the last time we talk to Jazzy. Oh no. Because I feel like I just like I just feel like he took us to church and I don't even want, it's like when you start break, talking like that, you can't bring up nothing else. It's like, like bro, no, I don't drop want you that to. motherfucking <laughs> mic. Shout out to your mom. Yes. She's a beautiful soul. Always support. I just want to shout her out because I know she rock with us. And I appreciate you telling your son you rock with us because I know that's one of the reasons why you're here. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. get it, man. Yeah. So you go ahead, Tamira. Well, he already answered if he's a go to underdog. So a motherfucking go. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate you taking the time out. Everybody, make sure you subscribe. You're liking all of our pages and you follow us on all And look out for trap. Is it trap? Trap, trap, trap star. Trap star. Trap star. Look Javon out for tra- and the trap star. I'm telling y'all we got right. A song. Well, what's the name of the song, Vaughn? What's the first single? Change, no cap. I'm gonna I'm tell y'all something, you. and whatever we and whatever yeah, we can oh, do. Oh yeah, Gasner the Gasner the artist, Javon DeWan, Jazzy Faye, we the we the producers of the project, and Javon is the artist, and we're all the artists. You know what I'm saying? But sure. Javon is the you know he's Let's do it. he's the bullet point. You know what I'm saying? He's the man. Yeah, X Men. Superpowers. Well, you know listen, what I'm, I'm telling you, when that shit drop, we gonna have that shit playing in every interlude around this motherfucker. Man, we gonna support. Listen, no, yeah, Cause you know why? No, I'm, it, I'm telling. Let me tell you why. Because you know, you we can't. Tear. We can't <laughs> complain. Mm-hmm. about what's going on if we're not giving change. Mm-hmm. And if you see brothers out here trying to give an alternative to these kids, every motherfucking body out here, everybody out here should be supporting that shit. And let me tell you something about Vaughn. I know we're done, but let me tell you about Vaughn. Vaughn is the first rapper in my life to this day that I, maybe DMX, but he's the first rapper and the only rapper I've ever seen in the middle of his show 
nigga rapping and everything, he will get on his knees. Am I lying, Vaughn? And pray. In the middle of the show. I mean, like, literally, when everybody turning up going crazy, he's on his knees in front of the stage praying. I'm looking like, nigga, hey, no, no bullshit. So I always know his heart is in the right place. And, you know, this, that's what this shit is about, man. Vessels, Vaughn, we got to get you on the show now.